Hi, I'm Brad Coven, Editorial Director of Metalforming Magazine at the Precision Metalforming Association. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of speaking with uh, AJ Rupp. Uh, AJ is the president of Bruder and Machinery, uh, and he's here today to talk about the market for high-speed stamping in North America and uh, to also tell us all about a terrific event that Bruder has uh, coming up. Uh, welcome, AJ. It's, it's great to see you. Thanks, Brad. It's great to see you, too. It's great to be here with you. Terrific. So, AJ, tell us a little about, bit about uh, how you see the high-speed precision stamping market in North America. What are some of the hot uh, target markets for this technology uh, and why? You know, well, Brad, the last three years um, for us, for Bruder here in the Americas, we've been very busy. We've uh, had back-to-back -back growth and business has been, we we basically have, we're still working off backlog through the end of this year. So it's been very busy. Um, some of the drivers are, uh, we have a lot of demand nowadays for complete production systems. A lot of big companies, especially the Fortune 500s, they just don't have the resources or the time to engineer and build these systems anymore. So they rely on us to provide them with complete production systems. Um, it's become pretty much the norm for our customers to order a press complete with material handling, part and scrap handling, power distribution, installation training, the whole kit and caboodle. So, they show us a part print, it tells us what their output is. We deliver a system that produces to that rate. Um, okay. that's, that's been a big factor in our growth over the last five years. Um, in addition to that, we're seeing a lot of growth in the automotive connector industry. Um, a lot of increased content in these cars, we all know that. Um, there's, been a lot, uh, there's been a tremendous amount of demand um, at least up until now for new cars and a lot of new complex connectors for the EV sector. Um, in addition, on the EV side, we're seeing a lot of battery opportunities, whether they be drawing cans or making small components that are within the batteries. That's uh, fueled a little bit of growth for us as well. Um, okay. Outside of automotive, uh, the electric power distribution industry has expanded uh, over the last three years. We've done two new greenfield sites in Mexico, and um, we are expanding existing sites here in the U.S. So circuit breaker business has been very good for all players in that area. Sorry about that. Yep. Um, the medical device market continues to grow. We see a lot of new developments in robotics, and we, we've, we've personally been involved in a lot of new diabetic delivery, lot, diabetic, we'll call them treatment systems, um, with uh, some of the big players in that sector stamping needles and other components that go in the pumps and sure. um, different components that, that fit in those devices. General stamping industry as a whole has been aggressively investing in new equipment. Um, it just seems that the older equipment, you know, just can't hold the tolerances anymore. So people are are buying a lot of new brooder presses, a lot of new peripheral equipment, inspection equipments, you know, the whole gamut of products that we we sell. It's been a good time. Excellent. Sounds good. So a lot of different end use industries um, making use of uh, high speed stamping. So specific to any of those uh, industries or, or the needs of those industries, tell us a little bit about the products or, or technologies that Bruder has introduced uh, in recent years uh, to meet some of those specific needs. Right. Well, I mean, as you know, from past conversations, uh, you know, we develop our products based on our customer needs. We're close to the customers. We get a lot of feedback from them. And that kind of is where we come up with new developments. Um, the, for the connector industry, one key area of development has been to increase the press bed space while maintaining high speed and absolute precision. Uh, this has led to the development of our latest machine, which is a BSTA 710 220. It's a 70-ton metric machine with a 2.2-meter bed. This allows for rather large progressive dies to be loaded into the machines. 
Um, to complement these larger tool loading areas, we developed a BSA servo access, which allows our customers to have up to six servo motors integrated within the press. These servo motors are capable of performing a variety of tasks. They can be used as additional feeders, as this, you know, if you have a 2.2 meter progressive die, just to get the strip through the die becomes difficult to feed it from one side. Mm -hmm. So the, the servo motors can be used as, a, as an assist. Um, they can also be used for milling, for threading, or for drilling. Uh, the, the possibilities are actually limitless. And uh, these, these bigger beds combined with the BSA allow for extremely complex connectors um, to be produced in a progressive die, whereas normally there would be, you know, multiple standalone processes um, sure. required. So that's a, that's a big part of our development um, over the last five years. Okay. And then some other developments, we've developed a, a new machine, uh, the BSTL 350. It was developed primarily for the electronics industry, which is a simpler application than, for example, automotive connectors. And there's a very big market for that, mainly in the Asia Pacific region. So the press has been designed with basic requirements for that market. It comes with a standard option package with a basic servo feed, tonnage monitor, tool safety, and cam outputs. It's a fixed stroke machine. Customer has to choose between one of four available strokes, but we believe it's going to be a very good fit for that region and that industry. And that we've also, in addition to those developments, we've also continued to advance our servo fee program um, for both single and multi-strip applications with perfect integration with our machines and synchronization with the BSA servo access. That's, you know, given our customers a lot of flexibility and opportunity with the machines. So those are our main developments for the Excellent. time being. Excellent. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of new developments. It's good stuff. Yeah. So you have an event coming up in April, right? Um, tell us a little bit more about the event, what what the audience uh, will see when when they come. Um, I know you mentioned earlier that you're going to have what three production lines, I think, on the floor, um, two with tools running production. Um, so uh, yeah, tell us about the event coming up in April. So we're we're very excited for the event. Um, we've branded the the event the uh, Bruder Tech Expo, and it's going to be a three day event from April 16th to the 18th. Um, from an equipment standpoint, we're going to have all of the latest Bruder technology on display, and um, a few of them, as you mentioned, will be running production. A few press lines will be running tooling and will demonstrate you know the complete system so to speak um we're also going to be displaying all of the latest peripheral equipment from lubricating and cleaning to inspection material handling um all of the things that would go around the brooder presses in a normal production environment as you also know we have some additional partners that we deal with from around the world um for example Invernizzi. They are a producer of transfer presses out of Italy. They all have a machine here. Um, SBT out of Austria, they make complex manufacturing systems. They're going to have a small machine here producing medical clips. And we're going to have a, uh, I think we're going to have three or four different welding machines here. And we're going to basically do welding seminars with our customer, demonstrating how we can weld the strip and also the finished stamp product. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, a very um, busy show for sure. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, sounds good. From a Bruder standpoint, we will have the brand new th BSTL 350 that we previously discussed. That will be here. It's going to be its uh, America's de debut. That'll be running a production tool. Um, we're going to have a 510-150, which is going to be equipped with three of the BSA servo accesses and also a BSV-170 servo feed. That machine is going to be set up to really demonstrate the capabilities of the BSA servo access. So it won't be running production, but it'll have the three servo motors set up 
um, on the bolster plate, all performing different functions so that customers can get an idea of how that technology plays into the production process. Okay. And we're going to have an BSDA 810-180, a big machine, 80-ton machine, also an integrated uh, Ruder 300 servo feed. We're looking for a big, big die to come in for that, but it's not certain yet, so we have our fingers crossed. All right. And we'll have two 10-ton mini Bruders, um, one with a, one servo-driven and one standard mechanical-driven. Be running a small die in one of those machines. And as I mentioned, Invernizzi will be here with a 60-ton transfer press. Uh, it's a 14-station transfer press with a blank and cup feature. And um, SBT is going to have a mini stamper on site producing small medical clips. We are also incorporating our friends from San Giacomo. They're going to have a couple of little presses here. Um, what they are, we're not exactly certain of yet, but probably 20 ton and a 40 ton, something small. Okay. So that's sounds the equipment like, side. Yeah, sounds like a lot of equipment to see. That's fantastic. Um, and then you'll also have some technical presentations, right? Uh, yeah. With the equipment on display. So what are some of the topics that will be covered um, during the uh, the technical presentations? Right. Uh, to, great question. This is a very important part, in my opinion, of the of the the, the overall um, tech expo. You know, we're going to do presentations um, from the Bruderer side. We're going to cover the latest trends in high speed stamping. Um, Stepper from Germany has agreed to come over. They're sending their head of R and D over, Martin Hess. He's going to do a presentation on maintenance free. Um, high performance progressive dies, which is going to be, in my opinion, a highlight. That's going to talk a lot about creative ways to build, you know, these high performance, larger progressive dies so that you don't have as many maintenance issues with them. It's going to be a great okay. presentation. Um, Otto Vision Systems coming over also from Germany. They're going to talk about advancements in inline inspection, focusing on their newest technologies which are laser cut weld systems and laser marking systems, which operate on the fly with the press line. They use a laser to cut out the bad part and reattach the strip. And then their laser marking identification numbers and whatever on the parts, really neat stuff. Um, RL automation, we'll be talking about coding, cleaning and preserving with modern day environmental considerations. Another interesting topic. We're all struggling a little bit with that. Mm -hmm. um, Invernizzi will be here to talk about transfer technology. SBT is going to provide a presentation on their stamped, formed, and welded assemblies. And Wintress Controls is going to be here talking about new advancements in dye protection and cam features. So we have a schedule that we're going to publish. It's already you know, partly published and it's going to be updated, but some of the presentations will be daily and some will alternate, you know, whether it's uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So okay. people will have okay. to determine what day they want to come based on what what presentation they want to be a part of. Sure. OK. And Great. then from a social standpoint, I'll just add that we're going to, you know, we're going to set this up as a really nice, uh, going to have a nice environment. Great place for everyone to meet, not only with all of the suppliers that'll be here, but for our customers to mingle with each other. We're gonna theme the days based on a lot of the suppliers that'll be there. We're gonna have a Swiss day, a German day, an Italian day. So the catering will be you know, set up to follow those themes and uh, it'll be a fun time. And then on Friday, the day when the show's over, we're gonna have an employee day. We're gonna do an American day and all of our employees and their families will be invited to come in and see the equipment. So it's going to be nice. a good time. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, it sounds like a terrific event. So much to offer. So finally, AJ, so how can the uh, folks watching this learn more uh, about the event, how to register and uh, maybe see the schedule when it's completed? So we're go there's going to be detailed information on our website. Um, we're marketing the show through metal forming, um, not only obviously in print but also in digital mediums um we're using all of the the available social media outlets and 
people, we're going to do everything we can to make sure as many people know about it as possible. But from our website and from all of the marketing materials, you're going to be able to get detailed information on the on all of the presentations that are going to be happening, the days of the show, the times, um, everything will be made available. So should be pretty easy for people to register for the show and um, set up their trip and whatever else they need. Yeah, fantastic. And what's the website again? It's uh, BruderAmericas.com. BruderAmericas.com. Terrific. AJ, thanks for joining us and for sharing all that great info um, and telling us about the event. We will uh, look forward to seeing you in April. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate the time. I look forward to hopefully seeing you in April when I'm here yeah. for the show. Yeah, we'll be there. All right, great. Yep, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.